vlog. <laughs> I am in the car with Schweetz and I'm trying to melt the ice on the windshield before we go to the vet. This is technically her second appointment, but the first one I'm taking her to. She had her first vaccine when the breeder took her 20-ish days ago. So I'm hoping she can get more vaccines and I don't know, she's crying a ton. She hasn't pooped or peed since 5.30 and now it's 7.30. So I really hope she doesn't poop in her new carrier because it's so goddamn cute. Here she is, the princess herself. Don't worry, she's like locked into the carrier. But of course she's, you know, trying to get out because she's the queen escape artist. Are you ready to go? And this is what I'm dealing with on the front. <laughs> This honestly has to be one of the most stressful things I've ever done in my entire life. Like, she is just screaming. I had to go get gas because I literally had one one bar, which is like 30 miles, which like, yes, I'm not driving 30 miles, but it's scary. She won't stop crying. It's 7.47 and we're six minutes away. So if I can just drive like a normal person and not lose my shit, then hopefully we'll get there on time. Let's go. All right, update, she got two vaccines. She had one needle, the dat, dap, something, the second one. And then she had one oral one, starts with like a B, I think, mm, I don't know. And now I'm in line for the Starbucks because I deserve it, she deserves it. It was like quite a morning, but you know what? We did it. Also, that like angle was really, really odd. But yeah, so I mean, she did a fabulous job. Like she cried the entire way there, but I think she had to go to the bathroom, which I tried to get her to go all morning and she wouldn't. But the minute we got there, I let her out into like the little doggy park and she went to the bathroom. So snaps for me. I'm gonna try to get her to poop today during lunch outside along with Sunny. Um, Cause I have to be out there anyway. So, you know, let's give it a shot. Little pop cup. So cute. Feeling like an absolute boss this morning. It's almost nine o'clock. I am home, ready to work for the day. The girls are doing so well. And I'm just like feeling it this morning, which is odd for a Monday morning. But I mean, that appointment went so well. She's sniffing. I'm going to take her to the bathroom. So this is my favorite shop right now to buy clothes for Schweetz Little Flock Sewing on Etsy. I have this fuchsia fleece sweater in extra extra small. Also, sorry if you hear Sunny slurping down the water right now. Um, I have the fuchsia in extra extra small for her and I just ordered last night. There is a lilac and an orange, so I got... Where are they? I got the orange and an extra small because I'm hoping she grows at some point and I got the lilac and the extra extra small just because I know that's the one that fits right now. I'm also thinking about getting this super cute, where's the polka dot one? There was like a blue polka dot one that I thought was super cute. And then there was one for Christmas that I literally thought was fresh. Like, look at that like green and red, like how cute will that be when, when it's Christmas time? But I can't order that now because I have no idea what size she'll be by then. But yeah, I just thought this shop was super cute. So if you have a mini dachshund, I suggest because it fits her perfectly. All the other clothes that I have for her do not fit as well. I have this little like donut t-shirt, but she wiggles her way out of the arms. Like it's not fit exactly for a dachshund and then I have another like from another Etsy shop I have a pair of pajamas but like the legs are just too long so I really really enjoy this shop also they're not like terribly expensive like $16 for one and like if you buy multiple at one time you only have to pay shipping once shipping is like $8.50 I think which is a lot um but if you buy like multiple then it's not not as bad so we'll see how the orange extra small fits oh there's the blue polka dot one i love that we'll see how the 
orange one fits and then I'll order more from there. Like if I should keep doing the extra, extra small or if I should go up to the extra small because she will be growing. This morning at the vet, she was three pounds. So obviously we need to keep doing some work. All right, it's lunchtime. I just took the girls out on a walk, which I would have filmed, but like one hand for sweets, one hand for Sunny. That's how I was walking them. And Sunny has been pulling on the leash so, so much. And Rob's been trying to train her to like stop, <laughs> but she's still doing it, which made it hard because she would pull and then sweets was behind because she's smaller and she needs more steps. So that was like an experience. And I just opened the packet of all the stuff that they gave me. And I have like 500 pamphlets to read. Like I feel like I just took like my child to the doctor and they were like, these are all the bad things that can happen and this is how you can fix it. Um, so I'm gonna read through all of them, figuring out like pet insurance and stuff like that. I looked up State Farm and it was like, really crazy expensive and I was like that's kind of insane so I'm gonna see if I can find a less expensive one because she does still need at least two more vaccines and she'll need to be spayed at six months so she does have some doctor's visits coming up and of course like things happen and they said like she could end up eating something and it could get stuck because she's so small so yeah I think I do need to get pet insurance. I just don't want to be paying $150 a month. Like that sounds insane to me, insane. Well, I just learned that my dog can get coronavirus and they can be anorexic, who knew?